Week 13 GSF Game of the Week. This was the best matchup in the CCS. You already know what I'm talking about. So let's recap what happened. Get Sports Focus is brought to you by Summit Partners, leaders in growth equity investing. Weights and bars.com. Build your home gym and shop locally from the Bay Area's best fitness equipment experts. Ike's Love in Sandwiches. Championship level sandwiches every single time. South Bay Construction, a reputation built on trust. And by Game Breaker, the official safety and uniform partner of Get Sports Focus. Officially welcomed Game Breaker to the GSF sponsorship family. Shout out to Jake for hooking it up. This game was physical. And sometimes in big games, big mistakes happen like this one. Midi just handed the ball right back to the Lancers. The snap was just too strong, went off the face mask, and the St. Francis Lancers got it back. Junior Fiaui tracked it and retrieved it. Lancers ball in the Monarch 16. And they cashed it in. Kingston, okay, Ana Aina. He's now a regular in the end zone. Fire up the cannon because the Lancers just took the lead seven to nothing. Midi answered with about four minutes left in the first quarter. GSF All-Star QB Wilson Towers to Ben Kim. Spectacular connection between the two seniors. But Andrew Carrasquillo got to the holder just before the ball was placed. But the PAT St. Francis kept the lead. Seven to six. Second quarter. Kingston, he's just sick. His brother Kiala is a GSF All-Star and Kingston is definitely a future GSF All-Star. That's three tugs. For Kayana Aina, 21 to 6, Lancers cruising. Closing seconds of the half. Interesting call here. Midi's Rade Galeb kicked a 40 yard field goal. That was good, but there was a penalty. And Coach Danny Sullivan said, No, no, no. We'll get the ball back and go for six. Unfortunately, that failed. But Midi was definitely playing to win. Trailed 21 to 6 at the half. Third quarter, first and 10, ball in the Lancers 15. AJ Sanazal got through the right side and powered his way for the score. PAT was good, 21 to 13, Midi down by eight, with just about 4.55 left in the third. St. Francis answered right back, two time GSF All Star QB. Matthew Doherty is an elite QB, that's proof right there. You can take that to the bank. Derek Gilly with a 75 yard early dagger, 28 to 13, St. Francis Lancers. Closing seconds of the third. Talk about elite. We're spoiled to have these two great QBs on the same playing field to get to the big dance. Grady Mitty answered with a 16 yard strike to Charlie Butler from Wills Towers, 28 to 20, end of third. Fourth quarter, St. Francis with another nail in the coffin. Kingston with his fourth touchdown of the game, 35 to 20 Lancers with about eight minutes left. Four minutes later, Mitty got one in. Excellent execution here by Towers. Turnaround jump pass to Caden Allard. PAT good. 35 to 27. When there's a Wills, there's a way. Kickers don't get enough credit, so I gotta shout out my man Rade right here. Beautiful onside kick. He said he was going to kick his gritty midi to the championship after they beat the Bellarmine Bells in week number seven. Playmaker Steven Anaya got the recovery. And like I said, if there's a Wills, there's gotta be a way. 44 seconds left in regulation. Towers to Kim. Touchdown, Mitty. They gotta go for two, and they got it. Similar play they ran against Los Gatos last week. Money, 35 to 35. We're going to overtime. Third and goal from the 16. Towers with his fifth touchdown of the game. PAT was good, 42 to 35. Gritty Mitty. St. Francis scored in their first offensive play. Easy money for Kingston. Okay, Ana Aina, his fifth of the game. Lancers needed a PAT to keep it going, but Steven Anaya got the sack. One of the best comebacks I've seen in quite a while, actually. The Midi Monarchs started from the bottom. Now they're going to the championship. No, I'm not trying to sing. It's been nine years and they'll take on a familiar foe. The mighty Padres, Wills Towers. The GSF Game of the Week MVP finished with 17 completed pass out of 29 attempts. 
218 yards, five total touchdowns. They were all passing touchdowns. Playmaker goes to the kicker, Roddy, my man. He went four for four in PATs, and let's not forget that 40-yard field goal before the first half. That was taken off the stat sheet. Onside kick was the key to the Monarchs' comeback bid. We will have more from this game. Congratulations to Coach Danny Sullivan and the Mini Monarchs. Final score, Monarchs 42, St. Francis 41.